Problem number 16 of section 3.5 asks us to uh, look at the volume uh, obtained by rotating uh, a region that's bounded by a line in the x-axis around the um, around the x-axis. And uh, so we're given the line x plus y equal to c, which if we just rewrite that, we get um, y equals minus x plus c. So our intercept uh, is c, and we can assume that that's greater than 0. And slope is negative 1. So that'll cross the x-axis at, um, at c. And we're going to revolve uh, the shaded area around the x-axis. So the area, um, or excuse me, the volume, is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to c. And now we're um, going to just take a cross section here, a disk here. If we look at rotating the line around the x-axis, we're going to get a bunch of disks, and we're just going to add up the infinitesimal areas of the disks. So see the height here is just given by negative x plus c. Uh, but that's just going to be the radius of the disk. So if we're going to integrate around the um, area, the area is going to be, so, then area will just be equal to minus x plus c squared um, times pi, or pi r squared. So this integral is then uh, pi times, uh, or the integral from 0 to c, of pi times negative x plus c squared dx. This is the integral from 0 to c. Let's pull pi out, and we get x squared minus 2xc plus c squared dx. That's equal to pi times uh, 1 third x cubed minus x squared c plus c squared x. And it's evaluated from 0 to uh, c. This is pi times, if we substitute c for x, we get 1 third uh, c cubed minus uh, c cubed and plus c cubed. So these last two terms just cancel out. And uh, of course, we technically we need to subtract um, the same expression evaluated at 0, but each term has an x, so that's just going to go to 0, so we'll be subtracting 0. Well, this leaves us with just uh, pi times c cubed over 3. All right, now if you think about it a little bit, so this is the um, formula for the volume that we get uh, using integration. So if we Look at this a little bit and think about it. If we rotate this triangle around the x-axis, well, we're just going to get a cone of um, height c and radius c. So if I'm going to flip this over, and you know, the resulting solve that we're going to get is it's going to look something like this, with radius c and um, height c. Well, we know the formula for area of a cone is one-third base times height. So if we do this, it should, we'd hope that it would match up. So this is equal to one-third. Well, area of the base is pi times the radius squared, so pi times c squared. And the height is c. So we get one-third 
uh, pi times c cubed, which indeed matches up with uh, the answer that we got by integration. Now, of course, we could have just used the formula for the area of a cone, but this is just kind of do it, working out or proving the special case for the area of a right circular cone with um, height c and radius c.